The Archstone of the Demon Flame Lurker. Since ancient times, a fire demon has been sealed in an underground temple filled with dragon bones. Deeper still lies an even larger dragon's skeleton. So with that kind of line, it's um, yeah, it's it's unclear then if Flame Wor Flame Lurker and Big M are tied, because it seems to be similar to the case of Shrine of Storms, where it's not gods coming back to life, but it's ancient things these the people kind of feared coming back to life. So Flame Lurkers is ancient legend, seemingly brought back. Um, yeah. I ain't got much else to say. It's, um, I won't put the feed ring on. That'll cheapen the experience, I think. Um. Fuck it. I don't know. Flame, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess it is similar to Shrine of Storms, where the miners and the people in Stonefang knew of a legend of this ancient monster that lived down here, being Flame Lurker. And that... Deep underground, an even, be even bigger dragon was buried. What the fuck killed you people? I was saying quiet for a second, but... Fuck? You poison yourself or something? I don't know how the hell that happens. Maybe even Makoto or something? Draining health? Oh well. There are. I was staying quiet, but I think any second now we will hear him. Now, if you watch the second part, you will remember after I beat Vanguard on that other file, I, came, I was teleported and came across something else. It's gotta be the fucking Makoto, I guess. That's weird. I want to say blood stains from in the boss room. Why can't I look at the message? That's bloody weird. Yeah, I came across this giant dragon known as the Dragon God. Now let's go have a look. Now there is a crystal lizard just there to our left. So we're gonna run and get him. Just let him punch. And we're gonna go. This guy can drop fuel greystone. This I'm certain of. Chunk of hard. Roll. I was just make sure. That, uh, yeah, good. I was making sure the music was on. Hey, Dragon God. So the V3 will work on him in this fight. Now you might be wondering, how the fuck you, how the fuck do you fight something that big? Well, we don't. Now, I don't know if it's a bit much to say, but I personally think, based on what I've read and seen, Dragon God might be the most divisive boss in this entire series. Now, the problem with Dragon God, for some people, and I don't mind it, is he's a puzzle boss. We gotta heal the fuck up. So, you hide from him. It's a game of cat and mouse, and the music lend it, lends itself really nicely to it. So you'll notice his eyes are yellow. When he spots us, his eyes will go red. The FIFA ring helps mask our noise. So we gotta go through. Has he seen us? No, he has not actually. Good. So, those stone walls, the, the columns you gotta destroy? Yeah, um, your best of two hand. Otherwise, it'll be a fucking pain to destroy him. I think you might bounce off with a lot of weapons, if not most. Okay, cool. Don't stop. I think you can hear this here, so let's just take a second to admire this. 
So yeah, you can't even lock on. That's me trying. So, like I was saying, giant dragon buried deep within the cave. Here he is, reborn because of the demons. Because of the old one. So this is how we fight him. You operate this harpoon looking thing. And another one on the other side of the wall. To pin him down. Presumably this is how um, this is how they kept a creature like this in prison. Now there is a little shortcut you can pull here. And I did it on the last file just to see. You can totally roll over this rubble and run in the middle area. But that kind of skips part of the um that, that skips part of the challenge, so fuck that. I might demonstrate it later. True. So now Dragon God isn't necessarily matter, but he's kinda just stuck in position. That won't stop him from punching us though. So let's watch. So let's see if I can get him to aggro. I want him to aggro just to show his eyes. Huh. Can't see us here. Yeah, that's weird. Can't see us, I suppose. Dragon God? What's going on, man? There he is. Nope. So that's a nice safe place to show it off. So we're gonna just wait here, behind this pill. Now I've said it before, I like the big, tough, over the top boss fights. I like Lady Maria. Even though I'm not good at like, Freed, I still enjoy it. I've never seen that attack, holy shit. I like Gale. I like Artorias. But there's something nice about this kind of spectacle fight just about. Okay, so we can hit us from this angle. So we're taking a run. Fucking hell, man. Now that side he can punch us on, so we gotta be careful. Yeah, I've never actually seen that attack. I've always done this way faster. With the thief ring. But yeah, this is what I mean by I think coming to this game last made me appreciate the gimmick so much more. It's not even necessarily hard. Honestly, it's cut it could be viewed as a letdown after Flame Lurker, but I really don't mind it. Alright, here we go. Hey fuck boy. Get it. Yeah, so like I joked about back in part two. He attacks the frame rate. He's a very mad boy. Let's just see if we can get any last good looks at him before we do it one more time. What are you gonna do, Dragon God? So I don't think you, I don't think you can hit us up here. Even then. So there is a ring here, and some rubble, and a weapon. Kinda like the Israel, or how would you pronounce it? Huh. Weird, isn't it? Well, we'll talk about that in a second. This might be the slowest Dragon God boss fight in the world. And I take that with pride. So we're broadened down. Time to go for the finishing blow. I almost feel bad for him. Poor guy. So right there is the Dragon Bone Smasher. If we had have met Skurva, he would have talked about wanting to find it. In pure white world, Skurva shows up um, on that right side I was talking about from the um, Armour Spider Boss room. I'll make it pure white 
and we'll come back and get this. It's pretty rad. But anyway, time to end it. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm actually almost feeling bad for Dragon God here. I don't know if he's like actually evil, though. Yeah, I don't really know about the lore or anything about him other than big fucking dragon hidden in a cave. I really like his design though. It's a nice twist on generic fantasy dragon. So if there is a bug that can occur with him, if you get the last hit and die from his fire breath, so you die and he dies at the same time, you can bug your game and you can't progress to the very end because it'll only count as four archdemons being killed and you will not have the chance to kill him again. This is what I've been told, this is what I've read. But anyway, see you Dragon God. I miss you buddy. There's our little tapir friend. Dragon demon soul and pure dragon's stone. Uh, I don't know about... I don't know about in the remake if they should make him a fight or if they should do this again. I, either answer is going to be contentious. But as I said, in spite of everything, I really do appreciate this fight. Pure Dragonstone. Exactly what we read earlier. And the Dragon Demon Soul. The Soul of the Demon of Dragon God. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know it's a disappointment. You get this giant dragon who fucking punches you so hard it breaks the frame rate. And you don't even get to fight him normally, but I don't know. I don't really mind it. It's a nice change up from everything else that came in the later games. There's nothing quite like Dragon God, which I guess is good and bad at the same time. At the same time, I think there's a place for boss fights like that. I think it's more stuff like... Um, what's a good comparison? Curse Rod of Great Wood from 3 isn't hard. Not at all. By no stretch is Curse Rod of Great Wood actually a tough boss. Um, the gimmick's alright. It's not too bad. It's not overdone. It's not too annoying, I think, personally. But, yeah. Um, I think it's stuff like Walnir. In, again, in 3. Where it's like... Similar to a dragon god in the context of you do the easy way and you don't get to see a lot of the stuff he does until new game plus which i've never seen because i've never taken dark souls never taken any of the souls games to new game plus let's just check anything new to say deep inside yeah i don't know kind of just me waffling on about i don't know what to do with dragon god but I like him the way he is. Well, time to dupe, I guess. And then we will head to Ed and we'll see what we can make. Hopefully some cool shit. And after this, well, I'm stopping for the day. And instead, what we shall do is go to three to one three. No, sorry, not free to not yet. I need to go save someone. Two people, in fact. Someone very cool. And or oh, magic teacher, like I said. You have a there we go. So the red hot demon soul, like I was saying, cannot be turned into anything else. I'll have to grab some of this while I'm talking about it. Um 
Yeah, it can't be transposed into anything. Fuck, what am I doing? Here. Um, it's stuck being the thing you give to Baldwin. Uh, sorry, yeah. to Ed to make some cool stuff. That said, Dragon God Soul can be turned into three different things, two of which we can get. You have your way. Such as Fireball. Two slots required. And just under just over a fifth of our pool of um mp spell from the demon dragon's god soul shoots a ball of fire and generates an explosion born from dragon bones soaked in lava this demon was the embodiment of the power inherent yeah inherent in the colossal flames so let's have a look at that we got to get rid of all this stuff and let's have a look at Fireball. Because I don't think I've ever actually I cast this. Um, we'll talk to Freak in a sec, see if he has anything else to say. Yep, that's about what I expected. So, you yeah, know, I have cast it before. We were wrong to assume that only demons could. Yeah, okay, nothing else. I am I can st right. So, yeah, let's just cast one more. Let's have a look at how far I can go. Wrong way, this way. Pretty decent range. I could probably free aim that. I've had lots of practice. <laughs> I've had lots of pyromancy practice over the years. Do you? Yep. Oh yeah, I meant to say. People have suggested perhaps our friend here could be a bit of a charlatan. In that he's a real priest, but you know. We'll uh, we'll talk about that in a second. For now, God's wrath, miracle from the demon dragon's god's soul. Generates a strong blast of force around the caster. This, mag this miracle, not magic, represents the power of God against tremendous malice. It is one of the greatest miracles, aiding all who are righteous. We don't even have the MP required to cast it. It costs 100. We can't even use it. And we can't even recall it. We can't even remember it because we need two slots. God bless Umbasa. Yeah, people were saying, like, look what he's got. He's got all these gifts. He's got all this wine, all this fruit, all these goodies. No one else gets them. Must be the price to contact God, I suppose. Hmm. As for you, what do you got to say? I've not seen you of late. Yeah, huh? I have some precious new stuff. You'll find something really useful, surely. I have bad news. There's a rumor that the silent chief Yurt has infiltrated Boletaria. Yurt's a mercenary. Oh, he'd kill his own kin for the right price. Now, I'm not a saint, but compared to Yurt, whew, I'm as saintly as they come. So I implore you to stay away from Yurt, the assassin in black. So I implore you. Have you heard of Law Trek the Embraced? Believe me on this one, bruv. He's a total fucking nutter. Yeah, Yurt's a piece of work. Catherine, I don't know if Patches had the... No, he didn't have this last time. So his inventory has updated. Off the top of my head, I can't tell you if that's due to um, beating another Archdemon or due to meeting him in 2-2. So, in both locations we find him. But anyway, Cat's Ring. A simple ring engraved with the seal of a cat. It decreases damage when falling from high places. However, if you fall from too high a perch, you will die in the usual way. So, you know, if you're, if you're chilling up in the rafters of this big research hall... And a crow kind of just nudges you. Yeah. That'd be embarrassing if that happened to anyone, though, wouldn't it? Well, do as you please. But don't come a crying when it works not. Yeah, it'd be real embarrassing if you died from a crow, wouldn't it? Anyway. Dragon God Archstone. Archstone of the Demon Dragon God. The underground shrine was made to worship as well as seal in 
the dragon god. The ancestors of the excavators revered it as a god and maintained it well. But for now, back to Stonefang. But let's just do this. Because that crystal lizard going to be back twice now. And I don't want it escaping. Little shit lord's going to get what's coming to it. Now one thing I meant to mention, which is also a phrase I use quite a bit. Um, just as I started this session up. So, before I fought that black phantom in the swamp, I was going to talk about a little thing some armor pieces don't tell you about. So I picked up the saint's armor, the saint set, and I'm wearing the leather armor. Now, it doesn't tell you, but both of these sets make it so you're losing a tiny bit of stamina per second. In that, you're not regaining the full stamina you should be. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure from the top of my head, you gain something like 46, 48 stamina per second. Something along those lines. It's it's between 40 and 50. And the leather set each takes a single point of stamina, deducts a single point of stamina from that number. Bar the leather armor, which deducts two. So I'm mm, missing out on five stamina per second. Now the saint set does that too. The raggedy set also does that for females. So it's just a little thing the game doesn't tell you. Kind of like how apparently that was a thing in Bloodborne in the original version. But they patched it out rather sensibly. Because, yes, yeah, stamina stuff like that would seem kind of odd, I guess. How the fuck do we get there? Haha! Ah, fuck you. Anyway, enough of that shit. What do you need? If it be a blacksmith, then show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. So I think I mentioned this somewhat, but I don't think I'd point it out properly. Um, Baldwin definitely less so, but Ed, you can probably make out, I'll, I'll back out the menu for a sec, has quite a few scales. It's also the fact that they're both balding, on of a ding, um, that makes people think Flame Lurker, yeah, could be him. Because he's got the same kind of head. Just, um, no glasses, no beard. He's got some horns instead. But yeah, um, I don't know what the biology or the evolution or whatever is that is occurring here, but either it is close to a scale miner becoming one or is somewhat related. But anyway, enough about that. Demon soul? The demons are powerful spirits. Some can even bless weapons. But doing so requires a powerful flame. For the soul of a demon is an inferno of wrath. I told you that I am busy. Each ore has a grade. Mighty weapons can only be blessed by ores of high grade. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. A spirit force that delights the eyes. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, you do. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in... Okay. There. Yeah, we got to walk away again. Now if we talk to him... Yes. That's the one. A red, hot, demon soul. Now you can bless your weapon with another demon soul. Hmm. Wise choice. You've done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith head. Bring me a demon soul. I shall use it to bless your weapon. Now let's have a look. What can we use? Well, problem is, I didn't, uh... I didn't bring any of the, uh, I didn't bring any of the weapons that we could use. So, um, good one, me. Um, excuse me a second. Oh, no, you don't. 
Wait, wrong thing. Some might say that's overkill. I might say that's the name of a uh, Motorhead song. <laughs> and I really enjoy. Oh fuck, am I dead? Of course not. This is Demon Souls. How would I die from full damage? Ah, ha ha. Ah. Uh. Radio, Rightio, oh, sorry, Ed. I'm back. So, all these can turn into the meat cleaver. Pretty cool. One thing before we do that, let me just test something. I'm pretty sure this will be the case. So, the other day I talked about the whole thing of like, that phantom block with the crossbow. Yeah, so you can't do that in the left hand. So, uh, yeah, she was cheating. I just wanted to see what would happen. Because I won't be buying a second club. So I want to see if dual wielding might be viable. Right here. Well done. So that's all we can make for the meantime. We need to get to plus seven before we can start doing that, but thankfully, the fact that we can't upgrade those bypasses that little issue. Now let's take off some stuff. Let's have a look at this. So the meat cleaver, this is what that phantom is using in the swamp. So first things first, you will notice a whopping S and S scaling with an A in faith. 26 strength, 16 faith. Um, fuck ton of damage. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Yeah, it's the great axe. No, it's two handed. Mm hmm. But what if? So, this weapon is amongst the most powerful in the whole fucking game. 100%. It's a fucking beast. But anyway, I'd say we're done for the day, but there's one more thing I want to do. But it's going to require a cut and quitting out the game. So, see you in a little bit. Right, and we are back to Belair of the Dragon God. Now, little shitlord lizard will be right here. Now, because it is pure white, there is not rubble obstructing this. Something, I, admittedly, you guys didn't get to see. Yes. The Dragon Boon Smasher. Allow us to have a look. God, could have been a little dicey with the meat cleaver, actually. Well, while we're here. So I can actually use this. But, um, just to demonstrate. 20. Yeah, you need to be a fucking tank. To wield this bad boy. And you need a fuck ton of endurance. Yep. It's a it's a beast of a weapon, alright. Rolling. Axe. So it's got a lot in common with axes. Definitely. How much does it take? 30, that's right. Oh well, we have to de-equip de it to do this. Hup. So if we were fighting Dragon God, he he would be busy being stuck there going, er, being real butthurt about it. But yeah, now we have Dragon Bone Smasher. Now it's time to return to, ah, there he is, Skurva the Wanderer. Now there are some shitlord lizards that we will meet down here, next to Skiver, the Wanderer. And a texture seam, because why not? Now hitting them it can be a bit of a pain. There he is. Fuck you. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Now, if we come here in pure black, instead of meeting our friend over here, we will come across pure black. Discover the Wanderer in black phantom form. How you doing, mate? That's fucking... Uh... I sure. He gads. Oh, oh, you nearly f f frightened me to death, creeping up on me like that. <laughs> My name is Skurva. I s s seek treasures of the unknown. I'm impressed you've come this far. Were you guided by a sixth sense or a brash imprudence? Either way, you've more skill than I. Let us put that s skill to work. There is a t t temple beyond here below the ground. It is a work of art, molded by the ancient burrowers to appease the bones of, of dragons. As a precaution, a broad sword which can cr crush bone and slay dragon is stored in the temple. Truth told, it is the laughing stock of many a swordsmith. They say it's as blunt as a bludgeon. A d dull blade meant to slay a dragon. C curious, is it not? I would search for it myself, but I I'm afraid I'd fare poorly against the demons. If you happen to come upon the sword, please let me have a look at it. This place is magnificent, eh? The bones of dragons exuding awe. A dream come true. Hey, that's... You found it. Let me have a look. Wonderful. The arts of swordsmanship applied in a perfectly useless manner. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Oh, do not mind me. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Please, take this as a small show of thanks. Take care of that sword, will you? She's a beauty. Take care of that sword, will you? She's a beauty. And thus, we've met Skirtha, and now he'll disappear. Unless I come back here looking for his black phantom version. Pure Greystone. Waste 10. Same as the fucking butcher knife. Alright, let's go. Take care of that. I don't know what the fuck's going on with your bottles, but you might want to get that looked at. Right, yeah, well, I guess we're done here for the day. I'm gonna grab these items. There's nothing of real note. Not you. I'm gonna grab the ones below. And a lizard, perhaps. But anyway. That's all. Two two sorted. We're heading back to Boletarian Palace. In the next part. But until then. Um Yeah, there we go. Um, let's do the bow. It's no Legion etiquette, but you know. Alright. See you later. Whatever um fucking hurrah.